Welcome back to Power Tips 365. Today I'm going to show you how to save your Excel spreadsheet as a favourite. My assistant Helen got in touch the other day and said, how can I do this? I use this spreadsheet all the time. There's two or three of them. How can I add them to my list so that I can open them quickly? And that's exactly what we're going to learn about today. We're just going to hop over into Excel and start seeing how to add this to your favourites and there'll be a couple of bonus tips along the way as well. Here's my desktop and I'm going to open up Excel and as it opens you'll see, apart from the fact that it said minimise, so I'll just maximise that, that it opens up on this splash start screen. Now I'm going to show you at the end of what I start out how to stop that happening because some people just want to get straight into a blank workbook. What this allows me to do is open an existing workbook. So here I've got a list of all my recent workbooks and you'll notice that there's one pinned at the top of the list. It's my forecast and underneath that are various other workbooks and then down here I can go and open others. So how do I pin something to that list? Well if I show you for example just by hovering over this, apart from the fact that it tells me where it's stored, there's a little pin here and I can pin that. And there it is, it's now at the top. If I just open up a blank workbook like that, come up to the file menu and you'll see that I have open and within the open menu, I've got my recent workbooks. And I can go to any of these recent workbooks, let's say this one about errors, and I can choose to pin it to the list. If I don't want it to be pinned at the top of my list anymore, I can simply come and click the pin and it's unpinned. Equally, sometimes this list gets quite long and there may be things that you don't want to see there. So you can actually right click on the list itself and remove that from the list. So it won't appear in your recently used items either. And now for that bonus tip, perhaps you want the last half a dozen workbooks open to open for to be quickly able to open them from here and we're going to make them appear on this green slash splash screen here so i'm going to go to the options that's clicking file and then options and when i'm in options i'm going to go to advanced from within advanced i'm going to scroll down until i get to see the display area now this allows me to say how many recent workbooks I want to see. So I've got 25 here. But that might be too many, I might want less. So I can make it say, show me only 20. Quickly access this number of recent workbooks. I'm gonna tick that and then I'm gonna show you what that does. And I can choose how many unpinned recent folders I want to see as well. So I'm just gonna click okay now. Remember, I've pinned those recent workbooks. So now when I click on the file menu, you'll see that there are my six most recent workbooks. They will correspond to the ones that are over here. And that means that I can quickly go and open that one from the list and it will always be there. There was nothing in that. It was just an example. So again, if I go now here, there they are. If I don't want them there anymore, I'll go back into options. I'll go back to advanced, back to display. And then I'll uncheck this and click OK. And then that means that when I go back here, they've disappeared and it's all neat and tidy again. So there's two options for you. You can pin them to the top of the list, but that's pinning the actual workbook that you want to keep. Or you can pin your recently used ones to the green bar on the left. And then lastly, I mentioned that I was going to show you how to get rid of this splash screen. So when I open up Excel, it pops up and I get this open. But I typically would much prefer to go straight into a blank workbook. So I'm going to go into a blank workbook just to get past that start screen. And I'm going to go to File and Options again. And on the General tab, at the bottom here, Startup Options, I have Show the Start Screen when this application starts. I'm going to untick that box and click OK. I'll now close Excel and show you what happens when I reopen it. So as I reopen it, it will go straight into a blank workbook and then I can carry on working. I can still go to the file menu 
and I've still got my recent workbooks and all the same things that I can do with pinning and adding the workbooks to the list. So there you have how to pin things to your list as a favourite and these tips apply to Word and PowerPoint so you can do the same in those applications as well. Remember, give us a call on 0208 203 1774 if you'd like to find out how our training can help your organisation save time. And time impacts the bottom line. We're waiting and ready to talk to you about your organisation's training needs.